How's it going guys and gals? My name is Callum X. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator and we are going to be looking at a mod called Toolbar Pushback today. Toolbar Pushback is completely free. It's a must-have mod in my opinion and I think most other people's opinion uh, as far as Microsoft Flight Simulator is concerned. You get it from FlightSim.2 and they've recently just updated it to do automated pushbacks which is amazeballs. So Hopefully you enjoy it. We're going to go straight into it and, and look at it. I'm going to film this all in one go. So hopefully that's all right. So as you can see, once you've installed it, it goes up the top. It is toolbar pushback. It sits in your toolbar and it's a pushback. Now you click it and boom, you've got this lovely window just here. I'll, I'll stick that up in the top corner. So you have two options. You have manual pushback and you have pre-plan pushback. Pre-plan pushback is really cool we're going to get into that in just a little bit but i want to look at the other options really quickly first so this allows you to basically skip atc as the middleman when it comes to everything sort of pre-planning for your aircraft in terms of like your baggage your stairs the jetway all of these things okay you can just get uh this application or this this mod to do for you so if i give you an example i can I open the cargo doors uh, which in this case opens the aft door over there. For some reason, we can close that one up. We've also got the aft door, uh, which is do 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 apparently not working. Typical, of course. Uh, and then we have the forward door as well, but I have a jetway in the way. As you can see, you can use it to move the jetway. So if I now move the jetway out the way, you'll see. There we go. And then if I want to, I can open the door as well. So we can have the door open without any stairs if we want everyone to fall on the ground and hit their butts on the ground. But we'll, we'll close that door. Regardless, you can also pull up, obviously, the jetway as I've just shown you, as well as getting the baggage. We can have the baggage turn up. Um, as you can see, they'll come in and, and put the baggage in. But most importantly, obviously, this is for the pushback itself. So let's get look into that. We're going to break, like, every rule here, and I'm just going to go through these as they are. So I apologize in advance. Uh, for that so first of all manual pushback if we click manual pushback oh the baggage guy is going to go away he's being sensible that's good i didn't know if he'd do that or not <laughs> i was just i was going to risk it for a biscuit so as you can see you've got manual pushback and you have two options you have tug speed and you have tug direction they are literally very 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 simple uh they are self-explanatory as soon as he is connected this little tug down here you can choose to slide your uh, nose to the left and right as you're going backwards. You can also obviously go forwards as well. So you will pull you forwards if you think that you've gone in the wrong direction while you're on your way back. But obviously the, the main ATC for Microsoft Flight Simulator means that you actually need to like request it through the radio. And then they say, okay, we're going to request that he moves to the left. And then and by that point, you've gone too far anyway. So it's very frustrating. So with this, as I say, if I um, let's go sort of slightly in that direction anyway release the parking brake and you can begin to move so you can see you can slide nose to the left or in this case turn right and then turn to the left so that's the manual side of it okay you can also hold if someone's in the way let's see if you've been told to hold by atc or whatever it is you can hold and then carry on going and then when you're done with that you simply hit stop pushback put your parking brake back on and then stop push back boom done um the best thing with this mod though is the pre-plan pushback now pre-plan pushback is super cool i wasn't sure how they were going to do this but i absolutely love it so the way that it works is it gives you this little map okay and it shows you where your plane is currently and then you can also you can drag it around by clicking so you can click anywhere and you can you can basically drag it around and you can say where you want your plane to be if you mouse uh, if you mouse the scroll wheel if you scroll the mouse wheel then you can also uh, rotate the plane as you can see so i'm going to rotate the plane i think i want my we're going to use let's see which taxiway we're going to use we're going to use um this taxiway actually we're going to go we're going to go here this is this is where we want to be because um there we go and then you click like click click once rather than clicking and drag you click once and there you see it will put the plane right there if you then press enter there you go that is locked in and all you need to do is hit parting parking brake and request pushback 
Sorry, request push back, then do the parking brake. I have just finished my stream. It's late. It's one o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I apologize in advance. So there you go. So you hit request push back. It will then come over. Obviously, the tug's going to come over. It will automatically start on hold. So in order to start the pushback going, you simply untick the hold. So as soon as he is uh, all attached up nicely. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If you are interested, by the way, if you find this video useful and you're interested in flight simulator stuff, I'm very new to the flight sim world here on YouTube. However, I am massively enjoying it and it is the main game that we're streaming right now. So if you want to come hang out for some full flights, then uh, do so. You can find the streams on my channel. Um, obviously, subscribers get notifications, etc, etc. Or you can come join the Discord as well. Right, so if we untick hold, then you can see it starts moving. And what it's going to do is it's literally going to put us if I come back and sort of have a look, you can see he is going to park us nicely exactly where we asked to be, which if you remember was here facing in, towards the bottom of my screen right now. So as he goes and does that, he's going to turn us in a second. Is he better? Otherwise, this video is going to be a bit useless. Be like how toolbar pushback doesn't work the way you want it to. But of course it does, because this mod's amazing. There you go, look, you can see it's turning the plane around. We're in uh, San Francisco, by the way, today. So we're flying uh, from San Francisco, but there you go. And he's put us in the exact right spot that we need to be. As soon as he's done, it will uh, it will tell us. So... There we go. <laughs> it tells you to put your parking brake on, so parking brake goes on. Tug goes away and boom, look at that. So the most important thing or the, the best thing about this pre-planning method uh, on, on the new toolbar pushback update is that while, of course, the plane is being put in the correct place, you can be in the cockpit, you know, uh, turning on your engines. You can be sorting all your engines out, turning these things on, doing all of the ATC stuff, doing everything in the cockpit that you need to do to prepare yourself. You can be doing that while the pushback is going on, which is obviously amazing. Um, nothing is set up for my engines to be on right now. So, <laughs> so I excuse myself for that one. But yeah, so there you go. That's the Toolbar Pushback app. Hopefully you uh, found this video useful. If you did, give it a like, of course, and subscribe for more flight simulator content. I do apologize for being super tired, but I did want to get this information out as soon as I found it out because it's super cool. And uh, I will hopefully see you in the next one or live on stream. Either way, take care of yourselves, fly safe. Link for the mods down in the description. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.